I find technicians all the time who don't know how to explain to their customers how to properly use their zoned heating and air conditioning system. They tell their customers to just set the temperature to 75 on both floors and leave it. That's not how zoning works. If you wanted to have both floors or both zones at 75 degrees, why not just take the zoning out and cool the whole house at one time? Why do we even need zoning at that point? We're talking about the do's and don'ts of zoning coming up next on Fox Family Heating and Air Conditioning. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. Zoned houses or houses with two or more thermostats are usually found in homes that have two floors or sprawling ranch style homes. In this blog, we're gonna talk about older homes that have had zoning added to their now oversized system. And we'll also talk about what kind of lifestyle fits best with a zoned system. And finally, we're gonna be discussing on how to use zoning to save you money, which is really why zoning in a home is even a thing. So many homes in the Sacramento area are big enough to support family sizes in the range of two people to six people and even more. Most homes are designed with a living area that includes the kitchen, dining room, family rooms, common area restrooms, the entryway, and other common areas. And the other part of the house consists of the master bedroom, master bathroom, larger closets that have vents, the kids' bedrooms, their bathrooms and sink areas, and the laundry room. And you could easily break this down into two zones with a thermostat to control each one. Let's just say you have a typical 1950 square foot home of condition space. So that's not including the areas of the house like the closets, the pantry, and other rooms that don't have registers supplying air to them. This house is two stories and originally came with a big four ton air conditioner that would easily satisfy the whole house at one time. 10 years later, however, the owner decides that they want to add a thermostat to the upstairs area so that they'll have two zones, one for upstairs and one for downstairs. 10 years later now, the system is 20 years old and the new owner of the house is ready to change out the system for a new one because the system just doesn't cool like it should anymore, but doesn't understand why he's being told that the new system should be smaller, much smaller, because that's not how to use zoning. Zoning is a great idea, but keeping that big old four ton system there is a mistake. If that 1950 square foot home is divided into fairly similar size, say 1150 square feet downstairs and 800 square feet upstairs, and only one zone is calling for cooling, then we have that big four ton system, which remember was designed to cool the whole house at one time, overwhelming the temperature change in that one zone, half of the house, overpressurizing the ducts for that one zone, sending a high velocity of air through the registers of that one zone, and generally putting a big strain on the entire system, except the zone not being used. This strain comes in the form of something like high blood pressure for the human body. You can run on high blood pressure for a while, but if it's not regulated, the body can suffer and fail earlier than usual. And the same goes for the compressor, which is a lot like the heart of the human body. It pumps refrigerant to and from the indoor and outdoor coil. Too much short cycling, turning on and off quickly, makes the motor see an enormous amount of damaging heat and energy on every startup, time after time after time. When your system is twice the capacity that it needs to be because only one zone is needing air, it's gonna satisfy that zone way too fast, on, off, on, off, all day long. See, your AC wants to run for longer periods of time at less amperage to cool your house more effectively. One to two degrees change for every 15 minutes is not unusual according to Honeywell, but two to three degrees in five minutes is way too fast. I won't get into this too much as I have other videos on this topic, but we want to condition the whole room, not just the human. This is how we keep proper humidity levels and prevent wide temperature swings in the room. So what is the right size then? If we were just conditioning that first floor at 1150 square feet, what size would we need? 
Without getting too technical, we would need about a two and a half ton system. And there are a lot of factors that would make it bigger or smaller, but again, I'm trying to keep this video short and simple. And what if we were trying to cool just the upstairs bedroom areas at 800 square feet? We would need about a two ton system. Now, what if both zones happen to be calling for air at the same time? This is where it can get tricky, but for God's sakes, we are not doubling the size of the system. My rule for our technicians is to size the system a half ton larger than the largest zone in the house, which in this case is a two and a half tons. So we size the whole system at three tons. This is a full ton smaller than that original one that was installed several years ago, which surprises some prospective buyers, but it's right. Because of sizing issues already mentioned in this blog, I can stomach a three ton system blowing through that smaller 800 square foot zone without doing major damage in the long run to that new system, especially if some bleed off dampers like the new Honeywell ARD dampers are installed. This allows the right amount of air to get to the small zone and any extra bleed off air into the other zone in very small amounts. Now, what happens when both zones reach a point in the day where they're both calling for air conditioning at the same time? That extra half a ton will satisfy one zone or the other first. And when that happens, that zone closes its damper and allows the other zone to continue until it's satisfied. We're not talking about the laws of thermodynamics to the letter here. And nothing I say is absolute. Of course, there are variables that your technician will have to take into consideration when it comes to your particular home but an experienced installer will know what is the right size and what's not when it comes to zoning your house. I'm gonna leave a couple cards at the top of this video screen. And one of them is on what temperature you should set the thermostat in your house. And the other is about how to cool your two-story home. They have a lot of good information that you may not have known about your AC system. So I do hope you enjoy them. So let's talk about certain lifestyles where it doesn't make sense to have a two zone air duct system. I just had a customer who has a nursery and kids playroom upstairs while the caregiver and other relatives occupy the downstairs portion of the house throughout most of the day. What's more is their demand for cooling is considerable given that they like to keep it at 72 degrees upstairs during the day for the kids and would like it to be around 70 to 72 degrees downstairs at the same time of the day for those downstairs. And they expect those temperatures even on the hottest days of the year. That's not the way zoning works. As I mentioned in the video about how to cool your two-story home, the typical home we work on is one where a parent stays home with a child or retirees that don't have to go to work anymore. So there's usually someone in the home most of the day. I tell people in these homes to focus on running the AC downstairs where they typically are throughout the day. So if you like it 75 degrees in your normal living areas, make it 82 degrees upstairs in the area that you're not using. Run the AC primarily throughout the day downstairs at whatever temperature you'd like until about 6 or 7 p.m. Then shut the thermostat off or downstairs and have the upstairs start cooling off so that by the time you get to bed, it's cool enough upstairs to sleep for the whole family. It's already 75 degrees downstairs when it shuts off. So it's not like it's gonna warm up super fast and make it uncomfortable for you. Nobody needs the AC downstairs during this time, so set it to 82 degrees. It won't get there overnight, but at least the system doesn't come on downstairs so that the AC can focus its efforts on cooling your second story down as quickly as possible. You can set it up however you want on your thermostat schedule. And if you need help with that, call or text us and we'll get out to you and set it up for you. The main idea of having two thermostats is that the AC is not sized big enough to cool the whole house at one time. Your home's AC system with two thermostats is designed a little smaller because it's designed to cool one floor or one zone at a time. We save money with smaller systems and efficiency is huge for a lot of people around here. The smaller the system, the less we pay for the electricity it takes to run the AC. We also save money and energy when you don't try to cool the entire house at one time. Well, I hope this helps explain a little more about zoning and how to use it properly. The intent of this video was to enlighten folks that running both zones at 73 degrees all day isn't the way zoning works. Think of it as two separate zones that we're trying to condition at two separate times of the day. 
If both zones happen to call for cooling at the same time, a properly sized air conditioner will manage its way through it and satisfy one or the other zone first, and then give the full system to the lagging zone. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right, and if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Well, I hope this explains a little bit more. <clears throat> well, I hope this explains a little more about zoning and how it's. <clears throat> well, I hope this helps a little. Well, I hope this explain. <sighs> well, I hope this. Ex <laughs> I hope this helps explain a little. You're watching Fox Family Heating, Air, and Solar. Don't forget to subscribe. And check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.